You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors got another vintage collection figure review. Nice early look at Cobb Vanth Mandalorian armor, newest release. Um, yeah, I was very surprised this one came in very, very early. Um, wasn't slated for release till October, I don't think, maybe even November. But um, here he is, VC343, as if we're getting close to 350. Um, yeah. Going back to the deluxe style card backs, which is much better than the box option in my opinion. Um, good to see. I'll take this over anything. I dare say most people would uh, maybe agree that, you know, with those couple of extra items, probably doesn't need a deluxe, deluxe bubble anyway. Um, but hey, if it's a way to get Cobb Vanth out, I'm, I'm, I'm accepting it. <laughs> I'm going to take it. So yeah, he's, he's, he's looking pretty good. I know TVC fans have been rallying for a Cobb Van for quite a while. So um, yeah, it's a nice picture of him there, actually. The dashing good-looking man, Timothy Oliphant. Very, very good-looking man. Get a look at the figure in the bubble there. A little bio on the back. Nice, there's actually a little write up on the character. So I dare say this one can be quite easily retooled into the sort of the Marshal as he becomes without his Boba, Boba Fett armor. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's bust it open and have a look. All right, here is Cobb Vanth out of the packaging. As always, we take a look at the packaging, then we're going to take a look at the accessories, the paint applications. The articulation and then at the end we'll do a peg test so let's get straight into it um yeah we get these flame effects back again which we've seen multiple times now with a various range of figures um and they should theoretically just peg into the base of the jetpack there it's a little bit of a tight fit but they do go in there Better than a tight fit than a loose fit, I suppose. So they do take a little bit of twisting, but they do go in there, so that looks quite good. And we've got Cobb's jetpack there, the patchwork. And maybe the green isn't quite as green. But I think this one was more blue, wasn't it? Now that I think about it, if I think a little bit more... <laughs> I think his, uh, technically still his Return of the Jedi jetpack, which was a little bit more blue. It had the sort of red touches. Um, so yeah, that, that probably works out fine. Um, as well included is the uh, missile. So that will slot in nicely. It'll fit in there, that looks good. There's a big old peg on the back there. Plug that straight into his back. We'll get a look at that in a moment. It does come with two blasters. Comes with his blaster pistol. Which is nice. And then the uh, blaster rifle. Fortunately, no sort of extra paint details. Um, you know, a little bit of that might be nice considering the, the deluxe price tag of this figure. A little bit of extra love could have gone into that. Um... At least just to get the sort of the wraps up on the holster there, up on the barrel. Excuse me. But overall, the sculpt's nice. It's it's not a flimsy plastic. It's nice and sturdy, so that's pretty good. And then we get the uh, the Boba Fett Mandalorian helmet. You can see it's a little bit worn. Um, fortunately, this version doesn't have the Movable rangefinder, it's a removable helmet, so you, uh, not a removable helmet, but it's a swap out helmet. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I think, you know, for the sculpt of having a swap out helmet, you want to have that rangefinder moving, I think. Um, I understand not being able to move them on a, on a removable one. Plastic's a little bit thinner, but I think in terms of this one, I think that should, that should move. It shouldn't wobble. Um... So I'd say that's a little downfall for this one so far. 
but in terms of paint detail, it does look good. So on to Cobb. And obviously other accessories he comes with. Let's pop his head off. That's going to be nice and easy. So we can get rid of his... Get rid of his little scarf thing. I don't know what to call it. Bandana. So you class that as another accessory. And then the way his armour sort of sits on. His hose pegs into the top there. And that's just to sort of flip over the top. Which I didn't think I would like. I when I started seeing promo pics of this, you know, just sort of over the top, I sort of thought oh, I don't know if I like the look of that. I kind of feel like it should go all the way through, all the way around, and wear it. But in terms of, you know, sculpting a new figure, this allows them to then go. Well, we just need to do another set of forearms, and you know, get rid of the knee, the knee dart, get rid of the armor bits, and they've basically got another version of Cobb. So with that in mind, I'm, I'm willing to say, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take this as it is. Um, and the way it wraps around, it actually looks pretty good. So, um, you know, if you get, if we end up getting that other Cobb Vanth where you can have him without his armor, you almost sort of glue that down, have it nice and snug in there, not have to remove it. And you know, when the arms are down, you're not really seeing the shirt doesn't wrap all the way around. And uh, being that sort of soft, malleable plastic, it allows those sort of shoulder arms um, and a little bit of wriggle room. Um, so I, I appreciate that. I, I definitely uh, respect the uh, the style stylistic choice there that they've chosen to go with, with the uh, sort of flip over the head. So if we just go. There we go. I just want to see how the how the helmet looks. So that looks all right. That's, that's not too bad. Again, I think I'll just be displaying him with the uh, helmet off because I think the head sculpt's pretty damn good. But um, yeah, that works. Again, once they do another sculpt of his lower forearms, I'm going to get rid of the hoses. We probably have to do something with his back as well. Slight retool perhaps to get that sort of peg hole filled in. Speaking of peg holes, let's pop the jetpack on. Let's put that blaster in the holster. Fits nicely, that's good. That's what you want. So I think he looks pretty solid in his in his armoured goodness. Okay, so that, yeah, you can sort of unclip that off the knee. So that will be removable quite easily. So I dare say, you know, a, a Cobb Vanth without armor is very much on the cards. Um, probably on a standard vintage card. Um, and probably be a very simple release for them. Um, as you know, I'll, I'll take it. I think it's not a bad release, but oh, we lost his head. Oh no, it's a, it's a nice tight fitting joint up there, so that's good. So let's get a look at the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty damn good, honestly, for the size. I think they've captured it pretty damn nicely with the sculpt. Even the paint application is pretty damn nice. I do like that a lot. I think it looks good. Yeah, paint applications overall pretty damn nice. I like the uh, sort of the weathered look. I hope this means we're a little bit closer to getting a Tython Boba Fett that we saw once he got the armor back on. That seems to be sort of the only Boba Fett from this new era that we're missing now. So yeah, definitely love to see that. Probably due for a new Empire Strikes Back one, to be honest, too. But yeah, I like the I like the wear and tear of the armor. 
Let's pop those flames out. So let's go through the articulation. So yeah, ball joint in the head, ball joint in the top of the neck, there's a ball hinge in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows. There is a ball hinge on the wrists. On the left wrist, we have an in and out. You can allow for that sort of flamethrower effect. If you've got a flamethrower effect. And this one is up and down on the on the right hand. It's an up and down hinge. And then we have a torso joint just above the belt. Come on, Vex, let's keep it below the belt. Um, yeah, ball and socket thighs, uh, hip, sorry. Swivels at the thighs. Ball hinge at the knees. Ball hinge at the ankles. And then the rocker joint right there. So let me put that jet pack back on. in that rifle there. So that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, peg test using the uh, KR stand, a little bit of a string attached to it. Um, yeah, this is where I get my stands, where I get my action figures, Kessel Run, Hair and Collectibles. It's also where I work, so. Um, yeah, we do. We love these stands and, uh, yeah, people are starting to get on, get onto them, which is awesome. We love seeing it. And, uh, yeah, peg right on that middle peg. We've got three different sizes of pegs here, plus a detachable arch that you can peg, pl plug back in to the peg holes and allow a little bit extra foot support for those bigger figures. But for this one, that middle peg is perfect for that middle sized peg. A very little one for some of these dainty figures, and then one that's more suited for Black Series. <clears throat> we wanted something that was uh, available to all figures, not just one or the other. So there is Cobb Vanth, finally in the vintage collection. Fantastic. I think he looks really, really good. Just go around and have another look at him. Love to hear what you think. Drop a comment down below. If you enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate that. Always appreciate the support from, from all my current subscribers and especially my YouTube channel members. You guys are fantastic. Always appreciate, much appreciated for your support. It means a lot to me. So yeah, looking forward to hanging out and playing with Cobb a little bit. I think he looks good. Looking forward to setting him up with uh, with Mando. Very, very cool. Again, appreciate you all watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll catch up with you some more reviews very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honoured if you would join us.